this is how I'm starting my morning. I'm gonna clean out this, uh, what is it, a 10 by 20? I got five of these today. This is the biggest one, fullest one too. So time to get started. Nobody else is gonna do it, so I am. Right, y'all, it's a half trailer. Let me show you where we're at now. You can actually see the floor. I'm guessing this particular unit was actually sold at an auction and uh, the people who bought it basically emptied stuff out of containers and boxes looking for what was valuable that they could resell and recuperate their costs. And then whatever they didn't want, they just left. Now, they're actually obligated to clean out the whole unit when they buy it. However, what often happens is they don't. And then the company will actually ban them from ever shopping at an auction again. However, it's still a problem to clean it out. So free haulers get invited in. When free haulers don't want it, you gotta pay somebody. So I gotta go around and rebox stuff up and get it out of here. Are you wondering, Dorothy the squirrel's still hanging on. She hasn't blown away yet. Three quarter trailer right now. Still working on the final cleanup. Time to switch to the pitchfork technique. So all the big stuff's out for the most part, just some empty boxes and other containers, and then all the loose crap. <laughs> all the trash that's thrown on the ground, that's just small little stuff. And you can go pick every piece up with your hands and gloves, but um, I'm gonna try to go the pitchfork and shovel route for a while and uh, until I get to the sweeping port. So there's a brief update, three quarter trailer on this, uh, it's gotta be a 10 by 20 unit, so. Keep working. Got a full trailer, had to shut one door, about to shut the other side. Just on the final trash right here. This was a sweaty mess, but it's almost done. I'm dripping sweat, almost a full trailer before 10.30 a.m. First storage unit of the day, cleaned out. Done, feels good. It's time for breakfast. Just got to Weinberger down in Gilbert. Gonna unload this. It was exactly 2,000 pounds. The fastest dump site in the whole Phoenix Valley is Weinberger and Gilbert. So fast to get in and out. We got three lanes going in, three scales, super quick operators. Always a spot to unload. Great facility. Privately owned, so they're making a killing on profit, I'm sure. Headed to my next job, and I was looking at the size of this freeway. It's literally seven lanes across. It's huge. Dragging a trailer around Phoenix. I think I pulled this trailer about 30,000 miles in the last year, all over Phoenix. Um, gosh, there's some crazy drivers in Phoenix. So far, so good though, nice and safe. At least on our end. My next job I'm working on, we got big mattress, medium mattress, medium mattress, medium mattress, two box springs, and a grill. Maybe other couple bags of trash or something tucked in here too. The barrels stay. But uh, yeah, that's my next job. Down in kind of South Tempe area right now on the border of Gilbert. And it's weird being here because uh, the first jobs I ever did for this uh, commercial uh, storage unit company was uh, was here at this, at this address. And it was two 10 by 30 foot storage units, second or third floor in their building so inside up an elevator i had to buy a laundry cart in order to clean them out totally underquoted them probably by like 70 percent underquoted and uh man i ate my shorts on that one it was terrible it took me three days to do both units because everything was loose trash just horrible memory but that's in the past i quote it differently now, now the mattress is loaded up i still need to sweep all this out i got the grill that was over here as well but lo and behold, underneath the mattresses was this mini refrigerator over here and this box of batteries. So this all needs to be recycled correctly. So when you have commercial customers that don't actually work at the site, sometimes these surprises slip through the cracks. So I gave the district manager a call, said, hey, this is what's going on. They said, okay, we'll have to adjust the work order for you. So if you're doing commercial work, make sure that the site, the, the managers are kept in the loop because they want this gone while you're here. 
Uh, it just has to be done right and make sure that we're made whole as well. So I'm gonna sweep all this junk up out of here and get those items recycled now. So you know, for a frame of reference, that's one, two, three, four mattresses that takes up half a trailer, two twin box springs on the very top, and then a barbecue grill. What's doors do you say? Not much, so we're gonna keep working. All right, all right, all right. Just got to my next unit. Looks like some wood furniture, some dressers or whatever these are. What are these empty totes? What's in here? Yeah, just more empty totes. That one, that one's getting smashed apart for sure. Like a yard chair, some other small stuff. That tote looks full. What are these like motorcycle things? Oh, chemicals, man, they hid it in here. Why did they do that? Very naughty. Oh, and a lamp, can't forget the lamp. Well, this is where we're at so far. It's about a two thirds load. Just finished our one, two, three, I think it's our third one. And uh, we got two more jobs to do. Let's Wait, get out of here. some miles on the truck, making some honest money. I just got to our next storage unit clean out and it looks like it's a two piece sectional and this king size mattress. So somehow I need to get this loaded in to our trailer as well as maintain room for our next unit and be able to get all those batteries and that refrigerator out first. So let's rearrange some Another stuff. happy customer served by around town junk removal. This uh, business owner got their space back. So time for us to flick the line off. And it worked and uh, head out of here. We got one more to do and time to unload after that. Here, but it looks to me like this trailer has some space in it still. <laughs> We're gonna fill this thing up first. All right, y'all, last storage unit clean out of the day. All right, here we go. Last storage unit clean out of the day. It doesn't look like much, but this would take a little bit of time. I wouldn't be surprised if it takes an hour, we'll see. But uh, yeah, squeaky floors. We're second story inside unit and uh, it's an eight by 10, just on the ground stuff. I mean, this is probably like a yard and a half, maybe uh, a material. So probably grab a wheelbarrow and some totes and a cart and just start lugging it out. I'm just making do with what I got. I'm using their carts. These three totes I got in jobs today. That one I brought, that wheelbarrow I brought. So try to minimize the number of loads up and down because it's just wasted time. So this should really speed things along. I'm thinking still it's gonna be like five trips up and down. Just a guess, we'll see. Well, there, that's my first trip out. I definitely overestimate, it's not gonna be five loads because I'm able to get so much in each trip, probably two loads and then I'm out of here. Oh, hey, not yet. Time to roll. Let's get this out of here before the uh, door gets mad. Just got one car on this load, left the other one up there. I'm going back for my broom. This is going way better than uh, what I anticipated. She's a nice surprise because a lot of jobs don't go better than you anticipate. So good way to end it. Just made it back to our local dump in North Phoenix. This load was uh, 1,700 pounds. Gonna get unloaded and then uh, probably go recycle some batteries. For those of you who don't know, a lot of auto parts stores will actually recycle the batteries and give you back a core charge return, maybe 10 bucks a battery depending on the store. So it could be worth it. Headed north. I think we wrapped it up around 130, 140 miles today. Not a bad day. The trailer twice, got five or six jobs done. More on the books for tomorrow. Calls are coming in. The website's getting traffic. It's good. Making progress, moving forward. Thanks for watching, y'all. Hope I brought you some value, some entertainment, maybe some tips or ideas that you haven't thought of before. And if you have tips or tricks or ideas for me, leave them in the comments. Like and subscribe if you can, if you want to see more of it. it helps your channel grow and be seen by a broader audience. We do appreciate you watching. Love hearing the feedback comments from folks and uh, if you made it this far in the video thanks for sticking around it's been a good uh, Thursday <laughs> sweaty day real sweaty day time to wrap it up and head home